Oh, I'm a little bit, oh, a little bit, oh, a little bit in love with you. I'm a little bit, oh, a little bit. I need to start this video. I'm getting too into it. Getting too into it. Anyways, welcome back to another Requiem video, people. And in today's Requiem video, I have a Requiem update and a bit of news to actually talk about, including some new stuff that I think you guys are going to like, as well as some bug fixes. And of course, we have that whole cabal. Before I do actually get started on this news video, though, I do want to say I have a like goal. Let's try to hit 500 likes, because if we hit 500 likes, I'll show you guys a picture of my toe. Yes, that's right, my toe. Now, yes, that's right, Requiem had released an update last night, and I actually do want to get into this update because it's quite a big one. Though, I do want to make it known, when they first released it, it was quite literally empty, like, it was gone, there was no update. So, nice one, Rec Room, I guess. What? What the fu- Anyways though, if you guys are interested in this new Requiem update, it is titled the Requiem Patch, the Look Ma, My Hands Are Reorientated Edition. And we have our full body avatars, you know, section to cover. It starts off by saying all level 40 plus players should have access to full body avatars now. Check it out in your dorm room mirror. The full body avatar beta fix for items that are supposed to hide ears, which are, you know, the ear covering the hair items, or completely hide hands, which would be boxing gloves. The full body will now do the right thing and properly remove that part of the player. It fixed the new strange mouth askew issue if you could only see on other players and while fixing it, we improved the range of adjustments you could make for the full body avatar, and you could still smirk if you wanted to. They also did some work to prevent face features from colliding, so an avatar always has the right order of features from top to bottom, which would be eyebrows, eyes, nose, then mouth, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes! We gave our full body avatars the power of telekinesis. This will fix the issue where held objects are restricted by the length of your arm. We can't wait to find out the unintended consequences of this though. So instead of your arm, you know, being long and stretching out and stuff like that, items will just kind of like, you know, be away from your arm and it'll look like you're using the force on them. There's more full body avatar item fixes for steampunk gloves and dragon knight wrist, and sometimes when switching between avatar types, your avatar's ability to push buttons or trigger volumes with your hands stopped working, and they fixed that. And lastly, they swatted a bug where if you were previewing custom shirts with a full body avatar, you could then go into a rec center with it unowned and see it in your local view, where others, you know, couldn't actually see it. And that's the Requiem full body avatar update for this actual patch. Now getting into rooms 2.0. Da 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 da. Uh, oh, oh, sup guys? I'm I'm just editing this video here and uh I thought I'd stop and uh, tell you guys to check out my code because I have a code in Rec Room. It's SK0L and you should use it. I'm not telling you to use it. I'm forcing you to use it. It's SK0L, or you guys can go to my profile and press that support button. It's super hassle-free, super easy, and did I also mention that it's free? That's right, but if you do support me, be sure to check every 45 days because it gets rid of that code, or you guys can go support someone else, or you guys can keep supporting yours truly. Thanks, people, and of course, use code SKULL! <sighs> All right. Bye bye. <laughs> they had fixed an issue where a hierarchy could have different authorities for different objects within it. Just like the mitochondria is always the powerhouse of the cell, hierarchies will always match the authority of the roof object. Wow, what an analogy. Anyways, loading into a subroom from another subroom in the same room can now show the subroom name in the loading screen in addition to the room name. Default custom, locom default custom locomotion graph now contains wall run, and players are now able to perform wall run out of box on the surfaces that are configured correctly. Parkour! They're supporting the price of offers with inventory items, and offers priced with inventory items do not require Requiem Plus membership. The price icons for these offers are customizable, similar to the room currency in Rooms 1. And lastly, they added a new Get All Inventory Items in Room Chip. All your inventory items are now, you know, belong to them. Teehee. They released the following from beta, the gun handle and all related chips, trigger volume, get and set player filter tags chips, all rooms to moods chips, player aim assist tag chips, player get is room contributor, parse time, in parentheses, what is time? Not equals, Madulu, player get crouch speed, player get is wall running, player get slide speed, player get steering speed, player set wall run enabled, player set crouch speed, player set prone speed, player set slide speed, local player override bro player voice roll off, local player clear player voice roll off, list add if not contains, list accept, list intersect, list intersection, list union, list distinct, instance get is multi instance event, instance get lifetime, handle get and set player filter tag chips, get HUD element enabled and last animation get frame, animation get timestamp, and animation set timestamp. Then they have this little, you know, subsection called touchpad component, which is in beta, and the interaction started slash ended events, it says on screens, this is when you start slash stop using the touchpad. On VR, 
it is immediately before slash after the touch started slash ended events. Your screen mode avatar is hidden from your own view while using the touchpad, relying on your cursor rather than the hand. And you guys know it, with every update we have general improvements and bug fixes. This is the general improvements and bug fixes for this actual patch. They fixed an issue where in some cases one explosive might not properly detonate to another explosive, kaboom, and then also another, kaboom, and then also another, kaboom. Squished a bug where swapping store pages would not restore your position on the page, scaling tubes and ribbons no longer leads to wild size changes, added room level events to, for the interaction volumes, note these events like their circuit board versions only fire for the local player, they also started an experiment with a new invention sa saving menu UI. If you use this, make sure to give us feedback. And if you guys have this UI, send me a picture, I want to talk about new UI of course. They added a gunfire all event to ranged weapons including the projectile launcher, this event will run for all other players in the room when the weapon is fired, at no additional network heat cost. They added the update event beta in, in beta to you know run circuits at the current frame rate. Unless local player uses the maker pen, Requiem will no longer automatically back up the room for them. They deleted the redundant set object button for the spawner component, added a new chip in beta which was Requiem object get all with tag new. This is similar to the existing Requiem object get with all with tag, but will return the objects in the same order for every player in the room, just in case you didn't like the random they fixed room cards, the thumbnails in the menu not scaling properly on non-PC platforms, they squashed a bug where the back button on the UGC storefront would redirect to a blank page, stopped the bug where games would end early in Legacy 3D charades, and they kinda, you know, had a little, you know, joke here, guess you gotta earn your dailies the hard way. <sighs> They also squashed a bug where cancelling a purchase on Android would prevent you from attempting any more purchases, and the for you rooms will start being recommended based on different data. Let us know if you like the rooms you see! And lastly, they are tweaking how similar rooms are recommended to you to prefer rooms that are similar, but also have players in them. So some room changes, some you know bug fixes, chips, a whole bunch of stuff, even UI! Now inside the Recom Studio section, they said that they had this new Anchor UI. In my last video I had talked about this because Jay had posted this expert from the patch notes inside the chat, so I'm not going to read it of course. Check out my latest video or you know my last video to learn more about the update before it had released and etc etc. They fixed paste as child for maker pen scene objects to ensure that the past pasted objects are correctly initialized. Our create subroom buttons now match the in-game behavior and will automatically uh, open the newly created subroom. Include data from terrain and memory explorer and in parentheses some painted tree and painted detail data are still not included. They fixed memory explorer estimates for some rarely used render target formats. They crushed bug where using the create empty parent menu in the maker pen scene would not create a new container in room 2.0 room and would instead create an invalid state by moving the child objects to the main scene. They then revolved issues that caused some harmless error messages when setting default values on input ports using the circuit editor. Lastly, they improved accuracy of the CV2 row in the Memory Explorer. Hey, did you know that I have channel memberships? Yes, that's right! There's people out there just like you and me who decide to spend 5 to $25 every single month just to support me! It's crazy, and the reason why they do it is to get a shout out in all my videos, on top of all the other perks that they get for joining the actual membership. And that's kind of why you guys should join. Now, massive shout out to my bookies, aka my channel memberships, which include Nat the Pup, Virtual Reality, Jack Tutorial, Mufi, Sony Robot, Logan from Hell, Abel Colors, S Plus Maniac, Manuel Lopez, Delgado, Nub Dub, Dumb Monkey VR, PvP Burning Owl, Yo It's Jakey, Bucket Guy, Trevor A, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, Box David, and Dozer Blade Cat. Thank you guys for supporting me, I really do appreciate it, and if you're a squidling, I appreciate that as well. Because you guys don't get shouted out and stuff like that, I do of course have to make that known, and I love you little guys. Now, back to the video. And that's pretty much our entire update. Of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on all the changes we had actually talked about. And we talked about a ton. Do any affect your gameplay, your building, just your, you know, character? Be sure to let me know! Now, this isn't all we actually have to talk about, though. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Before I do talk about that stuff, though, I do want to say, WE HAVE A MEME OF THE WEEK! And I'm gonna play it. It just, like, gets in your face, and it's so difficult to use. Oh. Uh, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the- <laughs> Now 
I do want to just say that this meme of the week wasn't actually this week, sadly, and is, you know, just kind of a funny clip that I really thought was funny and I wanted to include into my meme of the week. Enjoy it, people, and of course, I honestly have no idea what happened with Ruth there. I don't know if she was in a car, or she was just dashing, you know, in her house and stuff like that, but I have no idea what happened to that clip, and honestly, it was just a super funny clip I saw. I think Full Body Avatars makes it look all the better, and especially in a situations like that, I definitely do think Full Body Avatars is better for that. Anyways, though, enough of Meme of the Week. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on it, and let's talk about the new features. Now, inside the rec center, we had actually gotten a new community board with three shorts on the actual YouTube page. Now, that is unseen. I've never seen three shorts filling up the entire YouTube page, not a single video here. On the Instagram page, we have like art and stuff, very cool stuff. We have some, you know, normal in-game images and stuff, and it's uh, all pretty cool things that I like to see. It's kind of strange because I have Instagram and I'm on Rec Room Instagram and I rarely see some of these actual images, though I did see like this art. Now, for our last piece of news, Rec Room had added a new mouth to Rec Room. If you guys go to your customization menu, you guys will find it here. Commonly nicknamed the Ooh Mouth, this is, you know, a new mouth inside a Rec Room, but I do want to talk about that title. I don't know if this is quote unquote new for, you know, Rec Room players, but I do know that it's new for full body avatars. I don't know if beam body avatars had had this mouth beforehand, but, you know, I'm just kinda dumb like that. So until I'm corrected, I'm just gonna call it the new mouth, and of course, what are your guys' thoughts on it? I think it looks great on my character. Anyways though, thank you guys for watching so much, and if you guys like this video, feel free to like it! And you guys should totally check out my second channel too, by the way. On my second channel, I kinda make ship posts and stuff like that that's kind of just like a little creative freedom channel that i have and of course be sure to let me know if you guys have checked it out or are already subscribed thank you guys for all the love and support and stuff like that and be sure to subscribe i'd also appreciate that now without any further ado i have to punch you now bro fist